we have a brand new mods uh, implemented into our system. Um, one is a stacking mod. Uh, so instead of stacking, you know, like maybe 10 or 20 things at a time, you can stack between 100 and 1,000, depending on what the, you know, what it is. Like the meat will stack to 1,000. Um, some things will stack to 100. Yeah, that kind of. So in other words, it's increased. We have a stacking mod, so we don't need as many tables for, uh, uh, you know, I've been using those CS tables. We don't need them all anymore. So we are kind of doing our thing around here. And uh, it's a lot of fun. So anyway, uh, we did get added something really extra that I absolutely adore. It's called Jones. And Joan, for I don't know who she is, but she is, um, I'll just pull this up this way. It's called Jones Stash and Fertilizer Silo and Jones Egg and Poop Collector. And what it is, is, is you put it um, with power someplace centralized where it can pick up all the poop and all the eggs and everything all around for all the animals. What do you think of that? And it's nice because finally you don't have to be running around picking up poop, trying to get, you know, the fertilizer done, all that. And it picks up from a, a really long way, but I was thinking of um, putting it kind of right. Um, this is one, two, let's see. This is about three behemoth walls wide, right? And that's about three, four. So someplace right in here, I see, I don't know if it'll pull all the way over to there, but I know it would pull to here. Also, uh, air conditioners, um, you can put in a fertilized egg in front of the air conditioner and it will actually hatch uh, the egg. So um, you just have to be really careful. I'm cold. You're kidding. It was just 85 degrees and telling me I was hot and I put some clothes on. Oh my gosh. And there is a red egg. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you... You probably don't know this, but last night, after I signed off, I went over and I did a favor for somebody, and I flew by. This guy was in a trench, and I thought, oh, I'm going to go back and tame him, and I did. And so, because I was starting to tame, and all the good stuff always happens to me later, you know, when I'm doing stuff, I thought, you know, I'm just going to turn on, and I'm just going to uh, start streaming. So I started streaming and I got uh, a male Rex and he uh, would have been a lot higher, but a, a scorpion came along and started killing him. And only because I had my really powerful uh, emerald here with me is uh, the only thing that saved him because she just ate that thing up. But first, it took a long time because this scorpion had gotten underneath his tail. He was kind of, you know, elevated on a rock and it was underneath him and I could not shoot. I was on top of him on a rock. It was just awful. And it really uh, changed the levels of uh, how much he got when he uh, finished taming. But he uh, tamed out anyway at a really nice um, level. I, I mean, he would have been over 300, but I'm just really glad to have him. Then, because I was over at uh, my tribe mate's place in the mountains, which is very dangerous, um, I was uh, getting him and I saw these raptors and I thought, you know, I just need some really low level raptors kind of hanging out. You know, I, it's easy for me when they're, you know, stuck. So I, I, I tamed these two raptors and one was stuck down down the ledge and you could see it if you watched my last night's video except that right before everybody got tamed the system crashed and i signed off <laughs> but anyway today i got the two raptors but one of them was stuck in a little hole and i was up above it on a ledge and this carno attacked me and i flew off and it followed and it fell down on top of my raptor 
and it because the raptor i guess was tranquilized it didn't even eat it or anything i thought it was going to eat it and um she was really really high she was like a 290 and she um tamed out at about a 307 so i named her athena uh, she was really easy to get because i just went back up on the ledge and just shot her and so i had two animals uh, stuck in a hole i never thought i'd ever get them out actually but uh, I put saddles on both of them and whistled for them, and somehow they got themselves out of there. So I got two raptors, a carno, and a rex, and I ran to the Stargate because there were so many Argent Tavises around, and this thing was starting to come and follow uh, Emerald and I. And <laughs> Emerald and he got through the Stargate, and I didn't. <laughs> Because I was running the other way. I could not find Emerald anywhere. And I have a tracker on her. And every time I'd track her, you know, bring up the tracking device, it would show her way far away. And I thought, oh, she went through. Not knowing that it went through too. So then I get in here. Come and I have Athena flying around. And a saber tooth running around. And I'm coming out of there. And I just made a beeline right for my place. And it ran to this end of the building and started attacking my building. Everywhere was where I went, it was attacking, but it was attacking outside. And finally, I stood up on top of that little ledge up here. And it came down to this end, and I just started shooting it with a trank gun. Not knowing what uh, level it was. But after so many tranks, I figured it was pretty high. I am in the wrong place. I need to go and put this egg away. Oh my gosh, I'm talking too much. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Okay. So that was exciting for me because I am not a big uh, carnivore tamer. Because I've been really frightened. And uh, the other night... When I was taming my moss chops and I went and killed a Rex over at my tribe mate's place, it kind of gave me a lot of um, confidence that I could do a more than I really believe that I can. So anyway, I uh, also have started to move a lot of my dinos out of here because it was just getting so crowded. And so now uh, my southeast home is getting crowded. But since it's not my main residence, I figured, well, why not? So here we are. And I brought the, I left the highest levels and also the ones that are uh, mate boosted. So like Stella and uh, hits like a train, you know, he's, he's like 439. So... Um, it's going to be really nice. And then I just have to find a female for Relic, which I have, by the way, already. Uh, she was on a procedural adventure, and I have to get her downloaded. But that's about it. All right. So what I went and did is I got um, some foundations. I try to use metal when I'm doing this. It just seems um, cleaner to me. When I'm doing stuff like this, uh, <laughs> let's put down these first. Okay, so I'm going to put down nine of them. Uh, 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 who cares? So, one, okay. Uh, and one, two, three. Should I go that way or this way? Hmm. If I go out this way, will it be in the way of anything? <gasps> huh? We have another one? It's a tri kick? See, I miss all this. And this, this machine is going to pick it all up. Maybe I should just make it eight, two by eight. This thing keeps opening up. This is not going to be good. Uh, switch to manual. 
Oh. Mm. It just sounds such a great place. I wonder. I don't think I'm going to be going out there anyway. What's in here? See, look at this. 4,566. That's what a stacking mod does for you. And they're heavy. They are really heavy. But I think what I'll do is I'm going to go get the trike. And I'm going to load the trike up with the uh, berries. And then um, I'll move the everything over to the left. And just put the uh, feeding trough on the other side. Okay, so let's, oh, uh, it's not close enough to move 4,000 of those. Okay, okay. Down. Ah! Down, down. Okay, and I brought myself, a four, thinking ahead, I brought a crafting table to down, to put everything on while we're over here so that because I'm always doing stuff like this getting it in a pickle because I'm moving stuff around okay it doesn't matter where the sink goes and so we can just uh, transfer everything because when you put an egg in a poop machine out here first of all you're going to need a lot of thatch because the, the poop machine needs thatch but when it gets the eggs you need a refrigerator and since we have the stacking mod you're going to have a lot a lot of eggs in your refrigerator after a while and they're great for the kibble of course you all need that and then we're just going to go like this and you better be able to carry this transfer all of it uh oh very nice oh look at that this one came really high level and he has great health i mean super health great stamina and really fine melee damage and kind of funky on the the weight so I've been trying to at least get him up a tiny bit so he could carry something but since the other one is going to be the one with the weight I'll um, actually he went up a lot faster than I thought he would okay so let's just get you over here and um, then after I build this I'll just put the like the trough right over here because it's just for this end here. And I have a trough on the other side of the gates over there for all the meat eaters. All right, and then we can just um, demolish this thing. And we can kind of get it away. That's a new thing for me to see it broken like that. I mean, this is an old way. It, it finally it disappears, but uh, it's kind of crazy. It wasn't on uh, mine for a long time. And of course, my tribe mate says, oh, yeah, it's always been there. And I'm thinking, no, uh -uh. I've never seen it before. Not on, you know, not lately. OK, so let's see here. We got we're going to take these off of here. This is going to be a lot better. If you're not happy with something, move it. You know, you'll never be happy with it. You'll go, oh, geez, I should have moved it. And then by then you'll be all set up and you'll have to, you know, not everything is S plus. Not everything can just be picked up. A lot of it has to be demolished. Hi. And, oh, it, because we have a new stacking mod, I know you're not as going to be as interested, but we had to take Mind Wipe. And I had to add up all this extra stuff again and go through everything and re-add it back. And for some reason, I'm really um, jerky today when I'm, you know, walking around. It's kind of different, but... Okay, so let's see. We're going to have uh, over here. So, one, two... Hmm, that's not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work. I already knew it. So I'm just going to put one of these over here. And 
I have to move that. Uh, e, uh, let's see. What? I don't suppose I have. And I always bring more one of everything because I know me. If I take all of this from inventory and then I get this, let's pick it up. Crafting station. And then I pick this up. We're just going to start over. Because I was going to do it a different way, but now I'm not going to do it that way. Okay. We're doing great. We always do great, don't we? Oh, and guess what? I have my new monitor up for texting messages to people when I'm playing, which is uh, a little awkward for me, but I'm going to give it a whirl. So if I'm kind of slow in response, no, but know that I'm trying. <laughs> I am really trying. Okay, I am on the air. All right, so now let us do this again. So we're going to start way over here with number seven. And I think we're just going to go and just kind of tuck it in right here. There we go. Uh, that's pretty good. And then over here, because I mean, there's not going to be that many things out here anymore. Um, well, that is until, you know, you get to a dino that's in the way of your building. Okay, let's go again. Poor things. One. Just know I'm going to have more than. Let's see here. Okay. Took their feeder, poor babies. And there. Right. Oh, no. I'm not supposed to be on you. Crash. All right. So, how does this look from over? One, two, three. Uh, that's not going to work. Because I didn't want to build it that way. I want to build it. Um, just like a grandma, huh? When you're moving furniture. Oh, I think I want it over here. I didn't even have to move that trough, by the way, now that I see it. Now that I've been busy around here doing all this stuff. Oh, my gosh. Well, usually, you know, I'm, I've got a, a house or, you know, or, an, or some kind of a structure that I'm using. But not now. Some kind of... A little lost here. Okay. So this is actually not going to really be used anymore. We'll just write it off. I didn't make it very straight, did I? I usually do all this stuff off camera. I mean, what in the world am I doing? I don't like it when I can't see over the grass. Boy, we have some people on our a server now that are just making beautiful places to live. And uh, it's really fun to watch them do it. I'm always so impressed by how excited everybody gets when we first start playing ARC. It's so much fun. It's really a, a great game. And... Uh, I love it. Okay. 
Okay. And uh, not too, too bad. And I brought some um, ramps so that we could uh, walk up and down easier. And we'll be entering from this side. So if I type in ramp, I hope I brought them. Um, or they're already in my uh, hot bar. Oh, nice to that. Isn't that good? There we go. So we have ramp. And then I also brought, um, you know, just in case something comes down here that's not supposed to be in here because things are still spawning inside of uh, here. I brought some uh, of this. And I'm going to put them up. Um, here and here and here. Oopsie Daisy. And here and here and not much that spawns in here can get over a single layer. And it would have to fight everybody just to get down this far. But I have seen when my uh, Quetzal was over here by these double doors that are open, there was a raptor in here attacking her and all these other guys were just hanging out until I got there and finally just shot it. And I was like, man, because um, she's on passive. You know, I don't want her flying around trying to kill something. So we have seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, what should we do? I'll just make some more later. And it'll uh, be nice. And one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to close off an area that a dino can get on and off, you know, on and off. Because uh, if you, like let's say that you um, hatched a spino, or a Rex, they're huge. And if you don't give them enough room to get off of the, uh, here, you know, off the platform, you're going to be, um, in trouble. Well, this, okay, now, then you want a generator, which of course I brought. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I didn't bring anything to hook up the generator with. Oh my goodness. Uh, don't you just love it? when you do stuff like that. Okay, so we're going to put the generator in this corner, I think. And then we need to run and get all the electronics to get her. And my favorite lighting. Oh my gosh. It's nighttime. How can it be nighttime already? If this was daytime here. But in here I had to change all this around. I had to take all those um, ugh. Ugh. I had to change all these around. I took all these uh, tables out and then I lost them. I couldn't figure out where I'd put them. So I uh, just reorganized everything all afternoon. So electrical. And um, don't tell me that my electrical's not in here. It's not in here. And um, oh, isn't that just wonderful? Uh, but I did. Oh, that's because it's not in here. It's in here. Electrical. Okay, so we can make a couple of straight cables. We already have like a million vertical ones, right? Yeah. Um, we can take a diagonal. No, let's take it. Let's take it intersection. I never use the diagonals anyway. And then we're going to need uh, one of these. We need wooden electronics. And I just made a ton of electronics and polymer because when you get into a higher levels, what happened? Well, all of them. I made a hundred of them and they're 
Are they on me? I've used that many already. Huh. I told you that they go really fast. Okay, so... Um, uh, holy mackerel. What does it take? Silica, pearls, and metal? Um, I wonder how many of each. Uh, three pearls to one ingot. Oh, so it's going to run out of silica pearls. I hope I have enough. I brought some more with me when I came back from Scorched Earth. Silica. Pearls. But they're going fast. So is everything. The sulfur even that I brought back. Everything. It just... Okay, so I'm just going to do another hundred. And just take these. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's just go put them over here. And I made a walkway through here so I didn't have to keep going all the way around. I don't know if it's really worth it. Okay, so let's stick this in here. Go back to the electrical. Okay, so we're going to need uh, wood. Now that we have in abundance. A total abundance, actually. Like to the tune of 21,765. So let's take a thousand of them and uh, we'll make I guess a couple of them huh and then later on I think I'll just use that generator and I'll run electrical all around and put lights out you know around everywhere <laughs> okay so I have now I have an electrical box I have an intersection and a couple of straight ones um, I don't think I bought lamps and grounds. I don't think I have any lamps either. I don't have any lamps. I always have caps on because I'm always naming animals and so I keep the caps on and then I start typing and people think I'm yelling at them. So I apologize if that ever happens. If I'm typing and it looks like I'm yelling, I'm not. I just, I'm, I name, you know, I name everything my crafting tables, everything, or I would just get lost. Okay, I have to think of what I'm doing. What am I doing? Oh, I wanted to see um, if I had bought any lamps. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. It's going to need a standing torch. I need a torch. Uh, okay, I can handle that. And then I can also handle lamp. All right, so let's do an uh, omnidirectional and a lamp post. Nah, we'll just get one of these. I like these. Kind of, I think I like them. Everything's learned? Ah, uh, you know, as soon as I don't get this, I'm going to need it. Okay, and um, let's see. Uh, there's, what else do we have for glass? We had some ceilings, we have a gate, we have a glass door, a window, a behemoth gate. Oh, we don't need that. Um, a gate and no gateway. Oh, that's because you use a metal one. So we have a metal gateway and a glass gate. That would be two. We need three, four, five. We need uh, six more uh, walls, I think. I wonder what we would need to make them. Probably crystal and metal and some mini paste, huh? Uh, walls. We don't want an extra large wall. We don't want a large wall. We just want a plain crystal. Oh yeah, Crystal is just in big demand tonight. Might have to go up and check and see if there's anything left there. I'm just going to steal these right here. 
and see. I wish I would know how much exactly I need. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to do the six. I think that's what I need. While that's doing, we need to get thatch for the put machine. If you don't put thatch in it, it can't make a fertilizer for you. What do I do with the thatch? It's someplace like with uh, here it is, stone wood thatch and fiber. Look at that, 5,000 of them. That's a pretty nice number, huh? Yep, 10,000 thatch. And it uses all of it. Then you need something to put your fertilizer in. That's what the extra tables are for. This is the wrong one. Oops, you can see. Okay, so we have glass walls, electronics. We brought, we got our, uh, a lamp. We don't have a lamp. Okay, we need a lamp. <laughs> one, two. Maybe we'll do two because they're so bright. Two is plenty, honestly. I mean, there's, I think there's not very more, many in here, and it's just too many. Uh, I used to have like three or four in a building. I started taking them out. But then I used them other places. So let's see. There's uh, one, two. And look at how bright it is. It's just ridiculous. And then, of course, over there. But um, these take 30 slots now you know and the old uh one of these they only had like eight or nine slots and um you're always putting fertilizer in there and they upped it to 30 which is great but when you're putting 30 fertilizer into six things you know i mean pretty soon you have a lot going on uh, especially since they stack you know to like a hundred so it's like 3,000, so it's like 18,000 fertilizer at a time. Uh, well, here we are. And of course, we forgot one more thing. So we have to run back over here and get some gasoline. Ah, bear with it, just bear with it with me for a half of a jiffy. Oh gosh, I hate this, man. And I have it turned down to the lowest, the lowest light. Ah, chroma. I get headaches in this. Owie. Phew. Man. Ah, oh. okay. Let's put the gas in here. Now, we're going to have gas. And I even had the admin come in and he was using my system for a minute, helping people out, you know, because we had to change everything when we changed a stacking mod. You had to pick up everything that you manufactured things in. Stacking tables, the smithies, everything. You know, I mean, the crafting tables instead of stacking tables, sorry. I used to stack stuff in them, so I'm calling them stacking stations. And I just sort of went, you know, a little overboard on the mouth. The words just kind of always escape out of me when I'm thinking of other things. Okay, so I'm just going to relax. That's what was so cool about last night. It was really tired. It was really late, like 3 in the morning when, you know, everybody was almost tame. And um, I, was, I was so relaxed. And I'm like, man, I wish that everybody could see that I wasn't, you know, just excited or going crazy you know talking because I was nervous or anything I was just like oh and this happened and this happened it was really lovely and I really enjoyed uh, sharing it with everybody last night too I'm just gonna do one more down I know you guys won't be able to see a thing but oh can I can't see a thing either so maybe it wasn't the right thing and I think I might have to change, you know, some more um, on my on my system for uh, parameters. These things don't like to uh, hook up to these uh, edges until you turn around. Did 
doesn't even look like it's uh, on the edge, does it? There it is. And if it doesn't place, get another foundation and put out here so that it understands that there is something else there. And then just take the foundation out or a ceiling, anything. And it could be a thatch foundation for, you know, all it cares. It just wants to know where it needs to be. There we go. Now, I don't have to worry about anything getting in here at all. Uh, and I'm off by two, but that's okay. I'm happy. All right, and there. And here. And here. That makes it really safe from any kind of predator. Especially if you have an egg that's going to take a while. We don't want anything to happen to them. Okay, now, uh, if you were taming and, uh, and you were me and you forgot the air conditioners, um, then you'd have to go back and get them. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to walk over here carefully and we're just going to pick them up. You know, I'm being, you know, facetious. I don't know where they are. Oh, they're not in here. They're in here. Oops. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so did I make them? I made them, right? I made four. Do I have them on me? Don't look, they're already there. Oh, I apologize. We have the thatch. We've got the poop machines. We've got everything. Okay. And I should have looked first. I don't know why I didn't. Because I get too excited. I really get excited when I do stuff. It's so much fun. Except I have to tell people, you know, that it's a happy excited because when I was coming through uh, customs in England, you know, the, the guy, he said, um, where are you going? I said, I'm going back to America and I'm excited. And he thought that I meant, you know, like I was, you know, uh, I guess it means something else over there <laughs> because they pulled me aside and all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, mm -hmm, no, I said, no, in America, you know, excited means happy. And um, it took me a long time to convince him that that's what I meant. And I felt so bad. So I'm going to put the air conditioners over on the site since this door is here. So um, if you're ever going through customs anywhere, don't tell them you're excited. Moral of the story. I hope morning shows up pretty quick on ARC. This is disgusting. Three, three, ah. Oh. No, stars are still out. <laughs> okay, so we're now in number three, and we're going to put, um, uh, how big are they, or how little are they? Kind of little, huh? You know, the S Plus are like half the size of the big ones, and the other ones, I'm just going to stick them on this line. other ones are so noisy. I was like, what is that noise? I had made them accidentally, not realizing that I could make them in this, you know, S plus. And I was like, what is that? And it was these. And then I went ahead and I demolished them. And I made them out of this. And I was so thankful. Because these are so quiet. They're really quiet. And they're nice. Mm 
Okay. And then we're just going to come out of here with a straight, um, let's see, let's get this straight. Well, let's just type in electronics. A straight electrical. And we'll get the electrical outlet here. And uh, so we're going to have number six. And I have to walk up here until it goes like that. Um, oh well. Well, I'll have to come down this way too if I put another one. Oh, it comes through the back. That's kind of nice, huh? Uh, okay, I don't want any wires. Okay, now we got to put down the egg and put machine. Now, one of them is really big, and one of them is really tiny. So, um, let's see here. Where are they? Here's one, the put machine. And then here's fertilizer silo right here. Okay, so seven. I think seven was the bigger one. No, nope, where's that? Uh, six. There we go. So here's the uh, one we'll gather the poop. This, this one gathers the poop and the eggs, so if you, uh, you know, do a, an inventory on it, you'll see the uh, eggs and the poop, and take the eggs out and put them in the fridge. And then um, this one is the one next to it. You have to put the fertilizer in, the tiny little one, because this is the one that makes all your fertilizer. I mean, like, gazillions of it. Uh-huh. And it's fussy. doesn't want to be close, huh? Oh, right. My cat showed up. Okay, there you are. And then um, we need to put the refrigerator in close by because the eggs get like thousands of them and they are like thousands of pounds a piece. Uh, you won't believe it actually how how heavy they get. And um, I don't think I can, I don't think it will place on top of that actually. I don't think it will. Why is it placing on top of that? Shame on it. Well, if it's going to place on top of it, I'm happy. All right. Uh, it's too close. The back, back. No, it's good. Okay. All right. So, um, and the lights. Now we can put. Uh, one light here. Uh, and then we'll put one light over here. Okay, and then we'll just turn this on. Ugh. And we will. So is this powered? Powered, powered? Are you powered? Uh, turn on. And turn on. Uh-oh. Glass wall, no. Okay, so then this one here, it says batch and fertilizer silo. So we have to turn it on with the E. And then this one is um, powered already. Uh, e for stop collecting, it's already on. So uh, when you um, go F on this one, 
See it says power and turn on to send store, thatch, and collect fertilizer from compost bins plus collector picked poop. And so what you do is, is you put all of the um, thatch in here and then you have to make large compost bins. Not the smaller, not the medium, the extra largest, biggest that you got. And now what it's going to do is it's going to gather all the poop in the area and my compost uh, bins are way over here and it actually picked one up. Or did I put one over here too? Uh, I don't remember if I have one another one over here or not. Oh, I do. Yeah, over here. Okay, is this a large one? This is the uh, compost bin. Uh, I don't know if it's a large one or not. Well, obviously, it's not going to pick it up if it's the smaller one. I never even knew there were two kinds until I got my first egg and poop collector. Um, so let's see. V is for Victor Craftables, and let's type in a compost pile. And C is the large compost bin is what we want. Wood, thatch, fiber, charcoal. Wood, thatch, fiber, and charcoal. And it's just... Wood, thatch... Uh, fine. I'm just going to come over here in the dark. Now we'll just pull it. So let's pull wood, thatch, fiber, and charcoal. So let's pull a charcoal. Um, and uh, every place that you have animals, like I'm going to have to put the setup, same setup down at uh, the southern uh, home because I have tons of dinos out there too. So, but you will have fertilizer and eggs until you can't see straight. So it's really great for kibble. I mean, you're going to be so thankful that you got this. 3,000. I can't remember how much I needed, so we'll just get this. What is my cat doing? <laughs> I have no clue either. I don't want to look. At least she's not clawing into anything leather or important. She's just playing. And uh, let's just take 3,000 of these. And um, then it's just so we need right, a compost bin. Wait, that's fiber charcoal. Okay, so here we are. So, uh huh. All right, and we can make six of them. Make all six. I'm telling you, the more you have, the more it can collect, the better off you are because you have a lot of animals and you cannot believe how much they poop and lay eggs until you get one of these. Then you're like, if I was out all the time, running around all the time, I'd be able to get all this. But, you know, you're not. You're, you're doing other things. So whoever Joan is, thank you. More than thank you, actually. Okay. So we have six compost bins. Now, in the compost bins, you have to put thatch. So all your hard-earned thatch that you have, like, everywhere in the whole entire world, that you have been thinking, oh, my gosh, there's too much thatch. Now it's going to all be gone. <laughs> I'm serious. You're down to like putting 2,500 in each and you're like, oh no, I need more thatch. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I need more thatch. Yeah. And remember, gotta go back. Compost bins don't like to be on the ground. They like to be on a foundation. It doesn't matter if it's thatch. Just get them on a foundation. They won't place on the ground. The feeders will. 
but not uh, these guys. They're just so, uh, hmm, I don't know how to say it. They're kind of, it's not easy. Okay, so we have some glass, some metal, glass and metal. We can make three. And you can put two compost bins on one. So we'll just make the three and keep everything out there metal. Now, if you were in a really dangerous area where animals got in and they were cavorting around and, you know, you could, an alpha could get in or something like that, they'll destroy everything but the metal. So remember to build it out of metal if you're in a really uh, dangerous place and your compost bin is outside your uh, building and outside your fences. Okay, now we have to be strategic and we have to figure out where we're going to put these six. Okay, so there are, first of all, we have to go see if this is a big one or not. Of course, that is, if we could see in the dark, we could. Er, okay, well, let's, so, um, <clears throat> let's see, uh, And they come with their own flies, by the way. So I think it is, yeah, it's the bigger one. So I'm just going to leave this one here. And I'm going to put the other two on uh, this one here. Like this. I guess they're hungry. Uh, they're letting me know that they haven't eaten today. Well, since I could put four here, I guess, and um, I just put two on the other side. Seems to be picking up from a long ways away. Sorry, didn't realize I was walking like that. No, 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 Okay, oh, uh, while you're here, you might as well just fill it up. With thatch. Oh my gosh. It already started. See, look at that. It's attached to Joan's compost bin. What do you think of that, guys? I, uh, it's already adding thatch. Isn't that a kick? I don't know. Oh my goodness. And it's going to say John's compost bin, I guess. Is this going to say John's compost bin? Hmm, I don't know. John's compost bin. Okay, so let's go and see which ones are uh, she can reach here. Can she reach this one? No, she can't. So that's not going to work. Um, so that means that these way out here, I don't know where she was pulling it from then. Because the only other compost bins I have out here is this one out here. So she's not pulling it from here either. Well, um, I guess we'll put it over here. 
If she can reach that, maybe she can reach over here. See what I mean about having to put it in the kind of in a central place? Uh, I guess we'll have to put it over here. And we'll just, um, if she gathers the Rex eggs, I know that she, the poop machine, egg and poop machine, gathered stuff way far away in my other, uh, on, the, on the center. I mean, like, really far away. So, I don't think you have to worry about it. Um, so, let's see what we're going to do. <laughs> so, I think I'll just go like this. Oh, whoa. It's going to be on the ground over here? It's never gone on the ground for me every, anywhere, ever. Especially on scorched earth. I wonder if it's different when you have uh, the poop machine hooked up. And um, I don't know. And there, you know, you can't pick them up once they're down, so. There we go. So if I, uh, yeah, these, these are fine. I'm going to have to make another one here. Okay, so let's put a tiny bit of thatch. It looks like she's putting the thatch in, huh? That's kind of crazy. And then this one over here. So as soon as she gathers a Rex egg, we'll know. I thought we just took him out of here. Oh. I almost demolished this. So just because it doesn't say Jones, maybe because it, I didn't make it just now when Jones poop machine was going, you know, with a new mod. So that means maybe the other one is getting compost too. Fascinating. So she can't say that it's Jones's because it's an older one that's already been there. Look what she's, yeah. Isn't that interesting? It's interesting to me. Okay. Hmm, you'd need meho berries and patience. I don't know if I have the patience. Oh, wow. It's going to stack. That's intriguing. Yeah, I'm going to have to adjust this. I, I I don't like it. It's not me. I guess eyes are just different. Different people have, you know, different. What is that? What, what is that? Brother. 
See, I used to have, you know, uh, I have never been able to tame a monkey ever. Ever, ever. It'd be nice if it would go inside the house. Oh. Wait, Plant X killed a dillo. And I lost the monkey. I wonder where it went. Uh How did that thing even get in here? Brother. And I took some of my really high level wolves over to the other place. And I left the low level ones here and I might just switch them back around. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, it's just too, uh, maybe it's good for you though. I don't know. Okay, so we, all we have to do now is just go get a feeding trough made. <clears throat> and, um, And then this one, geez, see what I mean? Now it's not gonna make any more fertilizer until I give it some more of this batch. So you might as well just figure on having to go and find thatch somewhere. Uh, and then printing rate adjusted to match. Uh, seems possible to imprint something fully. Oh, I don't know. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, let me go. Okay. Okay. Not to worry, everything is a okay. Uh, okay. Uh, you don't have any thatch because you're not a thatch getter. It's the trikes that get the thatch. Do you have any thatch? Oh. How much do you, can you handle? Uh, wait, how about you guys? Uh, how about you? Okay, so we'll have to take one of them out. And are you powered already?
Okay. All right. And the only other thing I wanted to do is put a table in here so that we can keep uh, the fertilizer because it'll only put so much fertilizer into the fertilizer machine and then uh, it can't put any more. And uh, so you're going to need, um, I think we'll stick it closer here. Um, let's see, where is that? Okay. Oh no! I wonder where he was. Just want to make sure that you can access everything. Okay. All right. And, uh, I'm going to have to put a foundation out here. I know I have another one somewhere. Here it is, number eight. Okay, and put one of these on there. So I can pull uh, thatch and wood and all that stuff here. I'll be smart. Okay. All right, so now. Oh, brother. Okay, so. Let's move you first. Let's get you out of here. And then go make a trough and then go get some more thatch. Because this trough isn't going to be good for the other side. What in the world was that? And this trike. This park you right here, and then this trike. And then this they go. You know, when I had all those animals in here, it took me like almost an hour to get everybody out of here, moved, moved over to the southeast home. It was just ridiculous. And absolutely no fun. <laughs> you know, I mean, like, uh. And, you know, I mean, I really appreciate the Stargates. Don't get me wrong. That's the truth. I really, I do appreciate them. Okay, so let's go get some troughs made. Quickly. And uh, so we can get uh, going and do all the stuff that we got to do. Okay, and let's see, we're going to need wood. Uh, we're going to need plain metal, plain metal. There we go. Plain metal. And we're going to need wood. Oh my gosh, 2,000? I don't think I need that many, do I? 5,000, uh, uh -huh. I'm encumbered. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll say. Okay, here we go. 15 of them. Well, I'm going to need some. Because I've got, I've got animals everywhere. So are you guys getting ready for Christmas? I am. I have my tree up. I don't have any presents that I bought yet. Um, I'm 
I don't know. The family in Florida is the hardest one to buy for because, you know, you, you don't quite know what they want because you're not around them. But I'm going to give my daughter stuff that that was mine that I can kind of hand down to her. It will be really nice, I think. And she used to live in California, and she has a lot of her stuff here, uh, little things, you know. And I thought, you know, it would be really nice just to send her a few of those because all of us love having our stuff. What is that? Hear it? No, you don't. I know you don't. Never mind. Because when I rewatch my uh, videos, anyway, when I rewatch them, I don't hear a lot of the stuff going on. So I know you don't hear the noise in the background. Maybe it's the new mod making um, a lot of noise. Okay. So uh, we're running out of metal. Oh, we're running out of everything. I had so much stuff, and then the stacking mod came, and it stacks them in, you know, like 5,000, 10,000, and I'm like, I only have one stack. <laughs> I mean, really. Before, when I was on uh, the center, and we had the stacking mod. I must have had hundreds of thousands of stuff and never even realized the difference until lately. Okay, who's got the most weight? I think you do. Um, be careful uh, when you're upping their weight. I've been uh, found out that uh, two of my dinos um, won't uh, allow me to put anything on to their into their inventory anymore. And I asked the admin, and he said he thinks it might be a bug. And um, we just don't, I just don't want you to put, you know, so much weight on them and then not ever be able to even put, you know, you know, a saddle, extra saddle inside of them for another animal or something. Who knows? But, you know, I think, uh Come on, open. All right. There we go. Can we get that? Oh, we got that. And the new stacking mod gives us tons and tons of berries. I mean, like crazy. 1,200 mayho berries and a slam. I mean, wow. Not very much thatch, but boy. We're not taking down very many trees either yet. So let's keep taking down trees. There we go. Let's, there we go. Jeez. And I can't even see. <laughs> I can't even see. Oh my gosh. What is it? What are you hitting? Oh, you killed a trike? Where? Couldn't have killed the Dillo too? Where did you kill that trike at? Uh, yeah, I'm, let's load now, not one later when I need you. Where is that trike? We sure could use the meat. Here's a trike. 
Ah, where are you? Oh, there you are. Jeez. I think I need to change you to attack my target. What do you think? Is that what you're on now? Are you on my attack my target? Yeah, I know. It was my fault. I didn't do it. And I can't find the trike yet, so. Now I'm going to be killing. We killed another trike. Come on, we need to be able to see where they are. I can't find them. Now what? Do you see anything? I don't even see anything trying to heal us. Oh, over here. 730. Alright. You're just killing trikes all over the place. A Meganura. Ah, it ate the trike. That's why we can't find them. Last night I got a Stego. I was so excited. I can have prime meat, you know? Nope. Didn't happen that way. Killing another Meganura. Jeez. Oh, there's the other trike. Well, if I can get down and not get attacked by a Mega Neura, like I said last night, every time I get down and there's a Mega Neura, for some reason, they kill me. Because I have not figured out how to kill a trike yet. I mean, what's after me? There you go. Thank you. Maybe speed. Speed would be good. Now what? What are we killing? Another trike. Oh, a, a turtle. Where? Oh my gosh. Jeez Louise. Okay. Have you ever drug one of the bodies? I've never drug one of the bodies. Oh, cookie. You have to be careful that you don't fall off the cliff. There's a cliff over here. <laughs> See the water right over here to my left. Well, it looks like there's a, a coast there, but there isn't. It's just a cliff. A sheer drop.
Well, we're going to have enough uh, narco berries for all of our spoiled meat that we have now that we have this huge stacking mod and we have so much spoiled meat. Wouldn't have been nice, you know, I really do well, you know, putting in a straight line and just kind of eyeballing it. But on the other side where, you know, it's kind of way over on the other side toward the river, you know how it's kind of angled. I'm going to take and I'm going to put glass ones in there. That way I can um, see. Just that tiny little part over here on the right was when we first started, me, me and my dinos, when I first got here. That was it. That's all that we had. And um, Manny, the elephant, and I, the mammoth, the, the pre-elephant, and I cleared out all this up here just to be able to put those fences in and be able to see what we were doing. Gosh. Oh, I forgot I had spoiled meat on me. I mean, prime meat. Jiminy Christmas. Oh, my golly. Okay. I'm happy. Let's wander back in here. Go put down a couple of troughs. See, it, it's just kind of crazy the way I want to get the prime meat out of here first. Oh, it's on me. Oh, let me just stick it in the fridge here really fast if there's anything left. Uh, the fridge. Um, and it would have stacked, so it's in here. Probably gone, huh? Uh, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Aw, that's too bad, huh? Yep, or do. That's just too bad because we had that dust to go. But we weren't after meat anyway, were we? We were after thatch. Oh, I guess we'll just be surprised when we pull it. How much there is. <laughs> Alrighty, um, okay, so let's just put, um, thatch. Oh, well, we might as well get the narco berries while we're here. See, now that we have that stocking program, it doesn't even seem like that's very much, huh? Now that seems like a lot. I might just, um, I don't know if I can pull, uh, spoil meat here. No, I can't. Oh, uh, you know what I noticed today? When I put down this new trough, if I put down a foundation next to it, I can pull the berries off of these guys. And then just put them right in there. I, I was just stunned. I never realized that. I could just pull the berries. I mean, how cool is that? It's 
So if there were berries around and this, you know, could get them. So let's uh, go E and uh, I'll just see the range over here. So we have to put the next one in here somewhere. Okay, so we'll have to put the next one like right here. I, uh, some foundation, use item, and we'll put the other one right, uh, Kidoki, and we'll just put the trough right up on there. I'm in the table. Sorry, getting confused already. Here, number three. Now I'll just walk over here and do it. And there we go. And then we can put the trough just right down here. So I can stand in the trough and then just move everything over to it. So let's put the troughs down in our hot bar. As soon as I type it in. And here they are. They're number eight. Okay, eight. So let's just go here. And um, then um, let's see how far this one's going to be able to go. Uh, show full range. So this one's only going to go out to here. Oh, no. Oh. Going around stealing foundations. <laughs> I need you, excuse me. Yeah, funny. Uh, anyway, I'm going to put um, this trough. I'm going to take everything out of it. And I'm going to get rid of it. And then I'm going to put one right over here next to this so that I can just uh, stick it right in them here. Um, probably on the side. This is a good way. Over here is a better, a better side. Do you think? Yeah, I think so too. Oh, I can't move over. I'll just jump out here. All right, and then that's why it's not in the way of anything or anybody. Here we go. And um, I'll just put the berries in here real quick. And uh, here we go. So, uh, I wonder if this, can this pull the meat out of the refrigerator? Uh, raw meat, it would be under raw. Um, relics refrigerator and relics refrigerator. This refrigerator and Jill the dire wolf. Okay, make sure none of it's prime. Okay, and so we can take that and just stick in here. Uh, okay, so we've got some meat. And then how far is this one going to uh, over to? Uh, here. That's why I can use the one that's inside the building. All right, so I need another foundation. What do you have? Do you have anything? We have some wood. Uh, I'll just go make one. <sighs> really quick. Okay, so we're going to use a stone one, I'm thinking, would be the best for right now. So we're going to need a uh, stone and thatch. That thatch, I am telling you, on scorched earth, thatch and fiber are like the, the main things. I mean, for adobe, ah, they are the main things. 
Okay, oh, and now I'm just going to get some wood. And I'll get a half. Um, what am I missing? Oh, <laughs> the stone. <laughs> Oh, hello. I knew it wasn't fiber, but I thought, oh, maybe. No, but that's wood. So I'm like, what am I missing? Ta-da! And I've been gathering a lot of stone. Tons. Okay, so let's make some foundations. We'll just make four real quick. So, because we have a lot of troughs, and I just don't want to be doing out there and run out of anything because it doesn't seem like, I mean, there, there's only a certain amount of area that they'll pull from too. And um, yeah. Okay, so let's go see. over here on this pull for this one this one here if it catches this out here or is that this one? Oh, it doesn't catch these <coughs> oh my golly it doesn't catch them Doggone, huh? Okay, so uh, I need to pull the thatch and the wood out of there. And um, huh? Who knew? But if it doesn't, uh, if it doesn't do, then you're not going to be able to do anything. So uh, I'll just. Uh, And let's see, I'm hoping that this is the refrigerator that it pulled the meat out of. Yep, very good. All right. Then let's just go over here to this one. I wish they had this on the trough so you could see, you know, how far your trough was feeding. That would be really, really cool, Ark. Hey, guys at Ark, this would be really cool if. Yeah. Oh, let's see, old stacking mods. Not going to do any. Oh, here. Where is these? There we go. Okay, if I stick a... I gotta put the trough on this side, don't I? It's gonna be a lot easier. Uh, okay, eight. Hmm, maybe if I'll go like this. There. There. And I'll just go get all that out of there. Because it kind of in the way. I'm too heavy? No. Oh, I can still walk. <laughs> Barely, but I can walk. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, okay, and then um, let's put the raw meat in here first. And then let's put the berries in here. And then let's put um, 
a table. Uh, should have put that over a little bit further, huh? Oh well, that's okay. I want to put a table right here. Just keep it all kind of on one side. And um, we'll show the range. Okay, and uh, do these intersect with anything over here? Does it intersect with anything? It doesn't intersect with a thing. Uh huh. So if I put one, I know you guys think, what is she up to? But it really helps out when you're in a hurry and you're trying to pull and push and, you know, get things, you know, from one place to another. And the stacking mod makes it, you know, 10,000 pounds. Well, now, you know, you can just walk from one place to another. It's, it takes more time, but with what you can carry now, uh, you would never be able to. Okay, so this one is gonna be able to pull from this one. And then this one over here. It can um, Okay, this one is coming up all the way over here. Okay, over here, and then that other one is coming all the way out to here. So there should be an intersection right here. So you need to put um, Okay, oops, I'm sorry. So let's see if we come here and we pull, um, we already got fiber. Uh, let reach over here. Okay. And then 
if you come over to here. I'm going to put the fiber in here. Oh, I'll put wood. Oh, okay. So let's take um, and name this one that M E uh see uh, where are we uh let's see okay It'll pull. Okay, and then is this inside of one? So which one are you inside of? Oh, I have to name it. If I don't name it, you might as well forget trying to do anything with it. It just gets too confusing. Okay, um, F, uh, right, E, so it's going to be mid dino pen. Yeah, oops, fib. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Okay, now let's see, we'll go here. And then. Um, all resources. Uh, uh uh. Only from John's area. But why is it still stacking in a hundred? I took this thing off and put it back down. I think. Ah, you're kidding. Oh, I know why it can't. Wait, 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 wait. I have to take all this from inventory and put it over here. And then you have to pull it again over so that it knows that it's in a new thing. Uh, uh, and there it is, right there. See, how do you like that? So if it's still coming in the 100s and 200s, then you just know that it's a uh, relic. And this would be a relic, okay. So there you go. And uh, I think, 
What else was in here? Flint. I don't remember. Keratin hide. Yeah, uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's just take it all and we'll put it someplace at another time. All right, let's grab this. Okay, so this one's ready. And we can stand here and go like this and go like this. Okay, so I can take all of the berries from beautiful girl and put them on this whoopsie daisy uh, yeah like this okay and then pull the resources uh see amber berries can you believe that i never saw that before and i do this all the time i i can't believe it oops i goofed wait a minute i i was i'm just shocked I really never, ever, ever, ever saw it. Amber berries, azul berries. I, I'm really like, oh my goodness. Uh, let's see, azul, tinto, um, mejo, mejo. Oh, tinto berry, mejo, narco. Oh, we already got them all. We already got all the sim berries too, I think. I think. Yeah, we already got all that. Okay. Tinto berries. There you go. What do you think of that? Now, I can take some of this. And put them in here. Oh, put it down there, crooked. Lovely, huh? T T. Huh? Oh, see Daisy. Now let's just get rid of this. And that. And that. And that. And that. And then we'll just get some more of this. Uh huh. Okay. And. Now I gotta go find some more meat. Ah, it won't let me with all that junk on there. <laughs> Funny. Okay, so there's enough to feed those guys. And then we can just pull it over to the next station and then the next station and just keep going. Uh, where I need some raw meat. We don't have raw meat anymore, do we? Okay, since we don't have raw meat, I'm going to concentrate on getting the berries in them. First things first. First things always first. Okay, let's get 5,000 of these. And I know it takes a little bit longer, but I think you're gonna be really happy. Oh, let's just pull them all. Because remember, we have to pull them again. So I guess we're gonna need some more ammo berries if we got them. What do you got for ammo berries? Oh, we're done. Okay, so, uh, Mm-hmm. Uh, John's crafting. Uh, Inkwell. Uh, you can have them. And then, um, let's get the Tinto. I think it's great. I think it's the best thing that they've done in a long time for, you know, whatever we're doing. Oops. Okay. And then 
I need to walk over here closer to that. Okay, and then I need to pull uh, one of these, uh, half of this, half of that, and half of that. And then I need to move. I did, I could tie Barry, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 okay, so now that's all in there. And we can walk over to this one. And I guess I didn't even have to put that other one over there, huh? I could have just put a trough right here. Except I don't know the dynamics of how far it would go. Hmm. Okay. Um, so we need to pull uh, this one. Uh, this one. I wonder if you can name the feeding troughs. Well, wouldn't that be nice? This one. I wonder if if I'm putting too many berries in each one and running out. I didn't name that one, did I? Oh, lovely. Well, there's hardly any berry eaters over here, so I'm just going to do this. Is it talking about that it can pull from? See this feeding trough? Oh, <laughs> this one right here. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, okay. So let's just get all this out of here. Okay, so sex, sex, sex. Okay, all right. So they've got enough meat, 334. Oh, okay, I'm taking this because we need meat at the other places just until I can figure out how to do this. All right, and then go to this trough here. Uh, I lost it in the grass. here. I'll go like that. Okay, and uh, in for just right now, I'll go over here and put these berries in here. And transfer all that right now. Okay, so that's all done. That's all done. 725. Uh, uh -uh. It's not going to work. And um, then uh, we need to run over here. So this one. Ah, sorry. I, I hit control thingy. And then I just need to put. Oh, there's meat in here. Okay. And there's enough berries for a tiny bit. There's no fish. There needs to be fish. Uh, where's the fish? I think this is the fish. I have a Pelagornis so only eats fish. So I had to put in an extra refrigerator. See? <laughs> we have three refrigerators in here and room for a fourth one whenever I get to it. Okay, so now, okay, so we're just going to put this one and that one. Okay, everybody should have meat and berries except for the last one that I'm going to make 
and I've got to make it within this outside boundary for this one. Uh, well, that's kind of an odd place, but and it's right there. Great. Wow, huh? Hmm. I kind of like it to be out of the way, but I don't think it's going to be. I don't think we get to have everything we want all the time. Okie dokie. So, and three. Oops. What happened? There we go. And then we'll walk up here. And we'll put down a trough. This time we'll put it in a little bit straighter. <gasps> Ooh, is that going to pull? Look at the line right there. Oh boy, right on the line. Oh my gosh. Okay, and let's put the meat in here. And then let's pull. Oh, this is going to be a kick, huh? Hammer berries from the crafting station. And the um, little berries from the crafting station. The maple berries from the crafting station. And then, oh, darker berry. Wrong one. Sorry. Meho, meho, where are you? Uh -huh. okay. And the uh, Chinto berry, I think. Oh, where are you? Where are you? The crafting station. And then take off from inventory. And turn around and put it in here. Oh, and then just type in berry. And transfer everything out. Okay. Now. Are you on the feeder? Are you on the feeder? You are not on the feeder. Oh my gosh. So. Where? But you'd be on the feeder over here, I'll bet. So you can't be over there anymore. I'll just have to be kind of a walkway area. From now on, you have to be over here. Until I can think of what to do. Ugh. And can you get out of that? Is there a behemoth gate? Okay, there's a behemoth gate for him. There's some mayho berries for me to eat. What am I running out of? Food. Oh, I'm running out of food. Uh, okay, I need to go get some food. All right, so What a kick. Man, that was a lot of work. That truly was. I mean, I didn't even check to see if all the animals were on a feeding trough yet either. Sounds like
I know this sounds idiotic to you, but it sounds like there's a mega neuron in here. It's going zzzz. How funny. Oh, now it's gone. Well, that's good. So do we have any meat meat? Or is it all just this stuff? Okay, so now we have done our... There is something. Where is it? There's a mega nerve plant around here. See it? 110. A Meganera. Maybe a pike. I've seen people use pikes on them. Do I have one of those really snazzy pikes? I don't think it's here. I think it's over at... Um... All right. Okay. <laughs> it's inside. Isn't that cute? I got that thing inside. Oh, that is too good. Remind me not to go through there. Okay, so, uh, all right, so, uh -huh, uh -huh. All right. and uh, everything is shut up, and all I gotta do is go get, uh, wherever, oh, brother, we gotta get rid of that. Somebody's gonna go, what is she doing? Uh -huh. uh, and the lights came on. Right, 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 right. Okay. And then E. And then there we go. Oh, that isn't it. Where is it? Is it this one? It is. I don't think I can walk. I can't walk. Too bad. I can't walk. Uh, here's four pounds. Here's 12 pounds. Here's uh, 15 pounds. Gosh knows who what that is. Eight. Uh, 13 pounds of meat, dead meat, uh, more dead meat, and 840, okay, there we go, now we can walk, and so now we're going to go in here to the U, and, oh my gosh, see what I mean? Uh, it's hard to keep that in it too because it's always but you get one of these you're never going to run out of fertilizer by the way but that's why you need one of these because it will get full really fast and I'm not kidding it gets full really fast because they don't stack see they're one just one Okay, so we're ready to go. Uh, how much do we weigh? We can't weigh too much because we're going to be taking, uh, and I brought a flashlight attachment because I want to see what it looks like in the dark. But for right now, okay, so we're out and about, and now we have to find Emerald, wherever she went. Okie dokie, and we're off. Let's go. That was so great, that saber tooth coming through the this last night. It reminds me of my tribe mate telling me, 
that he had this very favorite shark. I mean, he loves sharks and dinosaurs. He's the one who got us into ARC. He absolutely has wanted a dinosaur since he's been like one year old. Uh, he ran around with his dinosaurs all the time. Rather than trucks, it was dinosaurs. It, we were a dinosaur family from the time he was born. And um, so he had a favorite shark and he didn't realize that it was on follow. And it followed him through the stargate from the sea. And they don't allow them to have the time to get them back or any way to get them back. They die right away. He was really upset for a really long time. And something else that's very fascinating to me. See the moss chops around here? I looked on the map and it said they're very rare here. This place is flooded with them. I'm supposed to write on um, steam that they're here. You know, you're supposed to say, oh, they're here in this area. Oh, they're here in this area. Yeah. Okay. So, as you can see, we have a lot of dinos over here. Here's my new Spino. And here's Katrina, my first one that I got here uh, on the island. And so I have the Spino following her, and I have uh, him on attack my target, and uh, her too. That way they can go out and get meat and stuff. And I just... Uh, I go survey where the meat is. Is it up at our place? Ah, oh, it's gonna. Isn't that nice? We could have gone to safely gone to South uh, Scorched Earth today. But see all the moss traps? Look at them. They're running across. There's one in the river. Got across the river. And, um, of course, the dillos are out, you know, in mass all the time. But I've been upping her in uh, melee damage, and I just fly over them and kill them. And I'm just like, nah. I think we'll get this. Because it's, you know, I've been trying to get lots of uh, blueprints for stuff. Like saddles and everything. And, you know, the really nice thing is, is they come down in different colors, like blue and white and yellow and red and green. And uh, I think that's uh, better than just having it always the one same color. Peekaboo. And, uh, oh, I don't have it in my inventory. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that funny? Well... I'll have to fix that. I like the ones with the circles around them. They give you better stuff for blueprints and stuff. But, um, oh, it even gave me a little, another, <laughs> little small crop pot. I've got a lot of them now. Cute, huh? And I love having the Stargate up here. It's really, really nice. I was thinking about putting a taming pin up here, but... I can't imagine what I would use it for. So, I was hoping there would be a bunch of um, parasaurs around here so we could go out meat hunting. There's one, there's a trike. There's a Diplodocus. We killed one of those last night. Man, did we get a lot of meat. I'm telling you. And here's a trike all by itself. I just got here, so things haven't spawned in yet. Quite. There's another Diplodocus. I need to put my spyglass back in my... Okay, so this needs to go back in zero. We need to get rid of this. Then we need to put the spyglass back in five. Oh, we already got it. That was the extra one that I was going to put on the little raft.
Here's this one. I brought a rifle too for the little raft right here. And here's my GPS. Goes in. Oh, there's fruit in my number seven, but that's all right. And then I need my little axe. Hatchet. Girl Scouts, we called it an axe. Yes, I went to Girl Scouts. Yes, I taught Girl Scouts. Yes, I taught Boy Scouts. <laughs> yes, I taught Sunday School. I love kids. I would go to any church if they had a ton of kids. And I'm not sitting. If it had a ton of kids and a great, you know, kids program, that's where I'd go. I'm not really into, you know, oh, I'm a this, I'm a this, I'm a that. Nope. I'm a person who loves. Oh, there's uh, two of them right there, right? Children. And I just would always go where the kids were. Parasaurs. Okay. So right out the gate, there's two parasaurs already. All right. So we can uh, just wander out the gate. But I don't think I'm going to take both of them. I think I'll just take one. And then my little moss chops. I don't know what to do with him. I mean, I got him just like I wanted to. But I haven't found a saddle for him. Is that, is that true? There's no saddle or anything for him? It wasn't the last time. See? Mosasaur... And a Mosa platform and a Mosa platform saddle. And the extension. But no, you don't get to ride these guys. Because there's no E to ride when you go up to it. Access inventory, that's it. You don't, you don't get to ride them. So, I just feed him junk. Okay, so I'm going to take you off of that, and I think that you can handle some Parasaurus, right? Come on. I love them. They look so happy when they're bouncing around in the water. Oh. I guess I didn't go far enough, did I? There. Sorry, didn't go far enough. Okay, so let's just go up here. And we'll get this one first. There you go. Good job. Uh -huh. Big lumpy thing, huh? I'm, I'm having trouble with the, the eating thing. Or I think it's just because he doesn't have a lot of... Ah, uh... oh, finally. Yeah, he doesn't have a whole lot of melee damage. What did I do? Up in... Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's what the problem is. Oh, brother. Uh-oh. Hear him? The Meganura? They're everywhere out here. I hate them. We can't take on anything really high because he is so... And we can't take on something where there's two of them, like a trike and a trike or something like that. So we just have to be really 40. Oh, there's another Parasaur. That's what we want. We want the Parasaur thing. We don't want to make the locals angry when we hardly have any stamina, any anything. We're just trying to level up. See, it takes him, like, forever to kill him. <sighs> Where all my Rexes, you know, one bite and they're done.
Is that fish underneath us? Okay. Oh, we got a fish. Ah, we got to rest. Hang on. Rest time. Go ahead and have a little bit of time. Wow, three raw meat. Whoa. But I mean, he wouldn't be able to hold up against nothing right now. So we need to just make sure that he gets kind of leveled up here. Boy, last night over at the uh, my tribe mate's place, it was so amazing because all night long, all we had was, um, oh, he's eating raw fish meat. I get it. Well, let's find the fish meat then. I wondered if he liked fish meat opposed to other kinds. Where's all the fish that are usually rattling around in here? I'll find him. Okay, he's got to be all his stamina just to get these saber tooth time guys out of there. See, he's eating the raw fish meat. Yeah, he prefers fish over anything. Wow. Well, now I know. Well, that's a real, you know, that's knowledge. I didn't know it. I don't think uh, too many of us knew it. Huh. Well, at least he can kill the salmon. Something's coming after us. What is this? Oh, it's a... Uh-oh. This is not going to be good. Oh, good job. Good job. Without egg or anything else that was really nice well we're doing a lot of splashing around I hope we don't run into some high-level wrecks or something oops we gotta stop for a minute Well, now I know that he likes fish better than anything. I kind of think that's really nice to know. Oh, sorry, the rock. It was a rock. Didn't move. See, it looked like this. Oh, these are them. These are the, oh, get your, uh, these are those darn old, what you call it, things. Right. And they'll fight each other. Uh huh. There comes the, uh, Mega Piranha. Yeah, that old Mega Piranha trick. Okay. Uh oh. Oh my god. Please, please, please. There's a Rex here. Don't no no get out of the way. Come on. Don't no 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 no. Come on. Please don't please don't please don't please don't run out of yet. Come on, tiny bit more.
he loves raw fish meat. Huh. Well, that is really nice to know. Well, good. See what I mean? And I have animals that love fish. Okay, I think you're done. You're getting killed by those stupid things. Come on, get out of here. Uh, uh, well, okay, safe at last. We're home. And you even got a level. I'm so proud. See, we need that egg and poop machine here, too, really bad. Uh, did we miss it? Oh, no, we didn't. Okay. All right. Alrighty. Now, let's see what level you got. Uh, we got, um, oh, wow. 1,000 fish meat, 401 regular meat, some spoiled meat, hide, and... I'll take this and that. And, um, hmm, <laughs> Well, you're not going to be any good to me if you can't do anything. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> All right, so is everybody else good? How are you doing? Oh, you have a lot of stone on you. Well, I'll be pulling all that later. This is the only one I could load up with anything. Sometimes you get stuck and you get overweight, you know? Especially now that they changed everything. I mean, they changed everything. When they changed the stacking program, they gave you half of what you used to be able to carry. Because the carry weight used to be a compensation because we didn't have a stacking mod. So you were able to carry twice as much. All right, so let's just go down here and get this shut. And uh, woo, I always miss these. <laughs> I never can outrace them. Uh, okay, so I want to see something here. Um, cycle glass one way. Cycle glass the other way. Cycle glass opaque. Two way. One way. So if I have it one way, then it's like that. Nah, nah, I don't like that. All right, so let's just go back and cycle it one way, cycle it, glass of pay, glass two way. All right, here we go. And then over here, isn't it nice, the rain? Sounds pretty, huh? It's, it's a phenomenal. Okay, so uh, cycle model. Uh, what's that mean? Select model. Oh, I guess select the model. Uh, no size. And then um, uh, no size. That's why I want to have a lot of glass windows around here. So we can just see out.
Is this the one we just did? No, actually not. Finally, morning. I get rid of this goofy gamma. Pretty, huh? See how they're as tall as the um, behemoth uh, gates? They're called the extra large. The large ones fit the gateway, the extra large fit the behemoth gates. So I've been trying to get crystal uh, and metal and the cementing paste for them, but it's, it's kind of been at odds because I can't, because I'm having a hard time with it. Uh. All right. I like them sometimes to open, you know, then you can just walk out and walk in, but not all of them. All right. And so I want to run over and see. Uh, let's see. First of all, let's eat. Probably need to eat, huh? Okay, so let's go over and see if that Rex is still there and what he is. I should have flown over there, huh? Uh, but I will grab my gun. <laughs> Just in case. There's something up here that should not be. Okay, okay. I should wear a parachute. Huh. Wow. Just since we've been here? Just two minutes ago? What is eating this thing? Probably that uh, Rex, huh? And it's not letting me see uh out of the 50. Oh wow, a white Rex. Was it a white Rex like that before? Huh. What level was that? A 110? Oh, and a Spino? Ooh, a nine, 190. I never saw that before. Did you? Ah, uh, what happened? Oh, here, we got all kinds of, man, it's just a second ago, huh? A 110. Wow. Ah. I love the happy swing now. Even up here, a Bronto tail can get you. Trust me. And could wipe me right off the side. That would be just like lovely. 
just lovely. And I wouldn't be able to fly up or anything. Oh my gosh, that would be terrible. Well, just since we walked over there and got fish, see what I mean? It, things start spawning right away when you're here. Crazy, just crazy. Okay, I know, I know, I know, I know. We have a lot of things we have to do. Like put freeder troughs in and all that junk, but it's no fun. But I guess they have to eat, huh? Okay, hold on a minute. Oh my gosh, we've been on for two and a half hours. There is no way, no wonder. I'm like, oh, I need a break. Huh, two and a half hours, it took us all that time? Let me grab a drink of water, guys. I've been talking for two and a half hours and I don't have any water drunk, drank. I didn't drink any. All right. Well, maybe all right. Wait a minute. <laughs> I ate a cracker. What's that mean? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have to do something here. And I don't, I don't quite know how to do it yet. Um, Sweet. All right. Okay. Let's resume. <laughs> I have this other keyboard. I mean, this other monitor that is brand new, beautiful, and everything. And people can write me now. But I don't think to look. <laughs> I don't think anything. I'm just like, like I said, sometimes I'm too oblivious. And I'm not, my brain doesn't work there. So, I was laughing the other night because now I have to learn how to type. And um, I think it's funny because I've never had to type before. <laughs> like I said, when you're 70, you didn't have to learn to type when you were little. I mean, you know, I just studied math. I loved math. So, that's what I did. I took all math classes. I mean, there were a lot of girls that, that, and guys that took... Um, Oh, home ec, um, typing, not me. I was in accounting and I took algebra, calculus, you know, all that. I just loved math. So anyway, my brain, it just works different than some. And about half of us in the world work like that. And the other half work the other way. And I think it's wonderful. But the young kids see when you start at five, four, five years old. Well, you know, you're you're learning to type right then. Your tiny little fingers are just going at it. Okay, see this tiny little inlet right here? I want to make a bridge across here and then I'm going to take all of this over here on this side for all my big dinos. I was looking at it last night from up above and I saw how flat it was and I was just like, Wow, this is amazing. 
What happened to that Rex? It left it alone? I'm going to land on this side of my uh, gates, I uh, decided. It's just kind of, all of a sudden, it's very dangerous. And not always like that. Whoa, no, 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 uh-uh. Back. Back, 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 back. Okay. All right. Oops. So, see the Bronto, how big he is? I have five Brontos now. <laughs> it's an accident. It's not my fault. Honest. It's not my fault. <laughs> it really isn't my fault. They just, you know, kept plopping into my lap and I just kept taming them. And um, so anyway, yeah, uh, I'm going to take that whole area and make it a big Bronto cage and Spinosaurus, you know, the big guys, you know, and it's, it's just, it's not a storage area. It's, you know, like a breeding pen kind of a thing. And I want to make it nice. And um, they don't have a bridge mod yet. Oh, dear. I don't think I have anything to tame with on me. Not a darn old thing. Okay, well, let's go. I put taming stuff everywhere. Just for this kind of occasion to try. I like to try. See what I said the other day? When I want to go to scorched earth, no beacons ever come down. When I don't want to go, they're like every three minutes. I am. Um, maybe I'm just recognizing them more, but I uh, think that it's, <laughs> it's kind of mean of them to do that to me. But the longer you're on, the more and more and more, you know, animals show up, the more beacons come. Yeah, it's really nice. That's why I think by late at night when I'm on, like at midnight, still playing, that, you know, I can find so many great, I want to say like great deals on, on dinos because they are actually everywhere. This is the fog. I'm sorry. The fog is nasty. Oh, bug fog. And it's in the house, which I think makes it really awful. Is there anything in here anymore? Oh, a little bit. Uh, okay, so what we have, maybe, is, um, <clears throat> so we have this, 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 and this, and this, and that. I'm just going to drop these off here, and I'm not going to put this other stuff in here. I'm going to put it over here. I had to come over here and take all this stuff, take everything out of it, and put it all back. But I didn't pull it back, so it, it's still sacking the old way, but at least everything is up and running to the new mod. <laughs> All right. <Yeah. coughs> That's part of that cracker. When I'm playing... I don't want to eat, but you know, sometimes they, I get hungry. So I just have uh, some like saltine crackers. I like the, the whole wheat kind. Who knew? And, uh, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put, let's see, how's my food? My food's fine. I will do a little water. What am I doing? Let me see here. Do I have everything in here I want to put in here? No. Okay. Oh, here's what we were missing. Okay, 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 okay. All right, and then let's put the rest of this over here. Even the stuff that we got off of the, keep getting off of the beacons. And all the hide we always get from everywhere. There's my, I'm going to leave these here. I don't want anything to happen to them. Here's a long neck rifle that we can use. So we really don't want to take 
we really don't want to see. And I need this one. And ah, <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna put this down here. Nah, that's for the my little raft. I'll leave it for the little raft. Okie dokie. Let's go try this again. Here we go. Okay. Do you think that this... Did I put food in Emerald? I didn't think I had. Not since I got on. And it was only just a few. So let's get rid of this and get her some meat. No! Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Oh no, how oh, nice. Hello everybody. I see you're watching. I think that's wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys are so sweet to me. Really, I am serious. Okay. I want to talk about Christmas and stuff, but... I, uh, you know, when I get involved in playing, it's just really strange to me that I could get so involved, and yet I really do. <laughs> I love it. It's so much fun. Okay. I hope they have Christmas stuff here. I mean, I already got the turkey out, right, from that mod, so we already have a turkey. We could bring one over here. Okay. Now that we're going to be here more, we'll have to fix this place up. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh my gosh, health. I've been trying the health thing here. If they're not healthy, they're not going to be able to live, with, even if they have tons of melee damage. You know? I mean, they could have 5,000 melee damage and, you know, a Mega Neura hit them and they'd be dead. So, health is really important. On a trike, I learned from my tribe mate that 4,000 is real good. On a trike, for health, at least. Because sometimes we don't know how much is good and how much isn't good. Okay, so... Let's see what we got here. Happy Spino is still going at it. Okay, I'm just going to walk you over here. And we're going to put you on passive. You're not following me. This is a good thing. I'm going to put this in here like this. You should have seen me last night. The... <clears throat> Sabretooth was way far away and I was hitting it. I have to admit, I think I'm a really great shot. Uh, I don't know why. Just him. Well, guys. Uh, it's time to make something really angry. Oh. Here we go. Oh, you're going to die. Yeah. Oh, no. What's going on down there? Hi. Yeah, you too, huh? Are they going to run away? Why are they running? I wasn't really after you. This is going to hit the side of the rock. Doggone it. Did that get it? And they run away. 
nasty little things. I hate that dynamic. What's it doing? I know. Huh. Too far. Oh. Huh. Where's my Rex? I mean, even a low-level Rex is better than, you know, like a high-level Raptor sometimes. Oh, it's over there bugging something else. Great. What is that that does that? Is that like a turtle or something? I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Oh. Well, I can try to jump off without... Uh, no, I'm not going to try. Yeah, no, I won't. Ah. What if I can get it this far away? Nope, can't. I don't know. I have to get closer. Rats. Don't you know? Uh. I'm such a coward. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Walk around here. Walk up around like this way. And then I would just sort of make sure nobody's out and about. And then try to jump off again. And then try to get, get it from here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Oh, wow. Oh, no. Huh. Uh. Is there anything really dangerous over here? Yeah. Lots of things, I think. Hmm. 